There is no app that allows you to meet and engage with people all around the world who aren't part of your existing social graph. So I can message my friends, I can even date my friends of friends, uh, and I can find people with similar interests as the ones that I saved on Facebook maybe seven years ago. With Fling, we really wanted to break that social graph model and allow you to meet people without being limited by your existing social circle. So last year, we created an app where you could send a photo, video, or text to 50 people around the world, chosen totally at random every time you send. Take for example, I'm in London right now, and I receive a fling from someone in Australia. I can double tap to reply and actually start a conversation thread with that person. If you think about it, it's a really easy way to find things that you have in common with others, be it a place that you both visited or a mutual favorite band, or even something that you happen to be doing at the same time from halfway around the world. And this is why four million users and 50 billion flings later, we decided to set ourselves a new goal. And that was to make the connections that you formed on the app more valuable in the long term. This meant totally redesigning everything that we knew about Fling and adding features that were traditional to the social network model, yet implemented in a way that didn't seem archetypal. The biggest challenge for the design team was how can we make this app simpler? How much can we take away? We're at the time where we're adding features, but also we're trying to make things simple and understandable for users. The end goal was to make people feel connected to other people in other countries. We needed to translate that into design. We wanted the app to feel immersive, captivating. The best case of a user coming into our app is the understanding. It's them going into the app and getting it. Um, what it does and, and why we did it. When you now share content on the app, it goes into the Fling stratosphere and it gets displayed on different users' feeds around the world. These users then have the option to refling. This means that they can essentially boost your content back out into the world feed, helping it reach even more users. You can actually imagine how good content can spread exponentially at this point. And the best part of it all is that every single user that discovers your Fling has the ability to follow you. This was the final network effect that we added into Fling. If you share an amazing story or a moment that captures people and it goes viral, you could literally get a million followers overnight. With Fling, everything is authentic, right? People don't show off or showcase because Everything's in the moment. So take the live pictures, for example. You can't dress that up like you can in other social networks. We delete flings in 24 hours, so there's no history, there's no news feed. So that leads everyone to, to kind of be their more authentic self and give you a glimpse into their life. We are so excited for the launch of the new fling. It's, it's gonna allow you to connect in, in ways that other social networks just don't allow you to do. At least that's our vision.